Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mikhail Rashik of Mirror Genomics hiking beautiful Grotto Mountain near Canmore, Alberta. And what better place to talk about non-invasive prenatal test and its use during a Vanishing Twin uh, event. So first of all, what is Vanishing Twin? That's actually where you have multiple gestations and one of them perishes and is absorbed by the body. It actually is more frequent than people understand and the estimates range somewhere between maybe a fraction of 1% to up to 20% of all uh, multiple gestation pregnancies. So uh, what I wanted to bring up here, this is a question posed by, uh, to, to me by someone, is what happens when you already had a vanishing twin and the use of non-invasive uh, prenatal testing. So first of all, if, uh, if you do have a vanishing twin, you can actually get uh, inappropriate results from non-invasive prenatal testing. That's one of the ways how you can get a false positive. And the reason why is because uh, the vanishing twin itself might actually have an aneuploidy. That means uh, an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome and uh, the surviving fetus could be totally fine. So that's how you can get a n false positive result, basically inaccurate result. And it is known and estimated that approximately up to eight weeks after the demise of the vanishing twin, the DNA from the vanishing twin can continue to float in the blood. But what happens once that already happens, eight week passes, can we still use non-invasive prenatal testing to test the surviving, surviving baby and see if that baby is totally okay? And the answer appears that yes, but depends on the circumstance. So I looked up some of the published studies and uh, one information I found is one of the biggest studies ever conducted on vanishing twins. And it showed that while you test approximately eight after vanish eight after eight weeks after vanishing twin uh, uh, demise you can still have a very high likelihood of uh, false positive meaning you'll get the fake results that uh, the the surviving twin might have uh, extra chromosome or missing chromosome but what's more important and more valuable is the fact that when you get a negative result meaning the result that shows that everything is okay, those type of results appear to be 100% accurate. And that's where the value might come in, in terms of still use of non-invasive prenatal testing after a vanishing twin event. So if you actually get a positive result, what the authors of that publication mentioned was that you can simply wait uh, up to 15 weeks uh, post uh, start of pregnancy to make sure that you get an accurate result to confirm that whether the result is uh, negative or not. And the take home message here is that if you do get a negative result, it's a type of result that it appears that you can totally trust. So that's still very valuable potentially. So um, you could consider using non-invasive prenatal test to make sure that, um, that uh, the surviving baby, surviving fetus is totally okay. So I hope that helps and uh, if you like this type of videos, uh, give us a like and please subscribe to the channel and uh, send us questions you might have because then we might actually produce these type of videos again answering these type of questions. Um, and uh, provided that uh, I can reach the top of another mountain. <laughs> so you guys have a great day and talk to you later. Bye for now.